Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at The New Mutants, um, annual number three by Chris Claremont and Alan Davis. Very cool issue. Can't wait to share it with you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. So there is no denying that the Chris Claremont written X-Men and New Mutants annuals of the 80s were like top-notch, best, beyond reproach, always featured amazing art. You might even throw in Avengers Annual 10 because that was written by Chris Claremont and illustrated by um, Michael Golden in like a classic story that features the X-Men as well. So I'm gonna throw that in there too. But uh, I just covered Alan Davis doing New Mutants Annual 2, which was a lot of fun. I think that was this first work, work for Marvel um, after a stint at DC doing Batman and the Outsiders and Detective Comics. And I was very excited to see his work at Marvel. Um, he did a fill, few fill-in issues of the X-Men um, and a few annuals here and there. And then eventually, I mean, he would become like a big time X-Men um, artist. I mean, he would go on to do Excalibur with Chris Claremont and then, you know, the core title. So, and even writing it at some point, he's a great writer. I love Alan Davis. Like, um, I want to say he might be a little underrated, but I mean, he definitely has a fan base and what's not to love. So this is anything you can do. New Mutants Annual 3, Chris Claremont writer, Alan Davis penciler, Paul Neary, um, big time collaborator, anchor of Alan Davis, um, fellow Brit, I believe. And um, I think they worked in, you know, on Marvel UK together. And he's definitely inked his stuff. Um, uh, Alan inked a lot of his own stuff at DC like especially on The Outsiders, but I think towards the end, um, a few issues were inked by Paul Neary. Tom Orzakowski, legendary X-Men letterer, L legendary X-Men colorist, Glynis Oliver, legendary X-Men editor, Anna Senti, and legendary Marvel editor and chief, Jim Shooter. This was certainly a great era in comic books and X-Men comic books for sure, 1987. Very nice to see Alan Davis coming back for the second annual. He did ink the first one and um, I remember seeing like the preview page for this, like the pencils in Marvel Age and just being like blown away. Of course, it's the New Mutants who I love, you know, one of the greatest superhero teams of all time. And then we get to see them in the danger room and they're going head to head with the Avengers. And like, just to be able to see, especially this era, like I love this era, uh, John Buscema was doing the art with Tom Palmer at the time. And this was the lineup. I love Monica Rambeau as Captain Marvel, Cap, Thor, She-Hulk, the Black Knight, Dr. Druid. I mean, you know, they were there for whatever reason, but you know, it's still fun nonetheless. Funny, um, I go back and forth with Alan Davis's version of Warlock. Um, sometimes it's a little too, I don't know, but I did love some of it in that New Mutants annual too. And like some of it's good, I don't know, there's something, I don't know, just like off about it. I can't put my finger on it, but I'm not mad. I'm never mad at Alan Davis art. And this is cool, I love like, I love how they're always kissing. Like, it was always so inappropriate in comic books. Like, the forced, unwanted kiss of your, like, I don't know, opponent? Like, who does that? <laughs> Could you imagine in boxing or something? Maybe they do. Maybe they do it all the time. Maybe I don't watch boxing. Maybe I should. I don't know. MMA fighters are not, like, planting one on another opponent, are they? But I digress. Like, I remember seeing the pre preview pages for some of this art in Marvel Age and just being like so blown away. And I love it and it totally stands out. And I mean, what a great cover, Impossible Man. And Warlock is sort of like a techno Impossible Man or there he could be. I mean, you know, there's a lot of room for, um, you know, character and or story exploration when it comes to Warlock, I think. And I think that's the beauty of a lot of the characters that Chris Claremont created and fed into the canon. And that's like such a testament to what he did 
in a way how, you know, often his uh, material is revisited because he definitely created some timeless classics and characters that we will always love. And I do have to laugh at the Impossible Man. Like, that's this is pretty fun. Like, I love this fun use of the Impossible Man. Like, I feel like, um, and I don't know how tightly, like, they were working within the Marvel method. And if Chris Claremont is describing each panel or just telling him to have fun with it, an homage to Marvel or something, I don't know. But, <clears throat> you know, you got your, like, Nick Fury. You got your Sanctum Sanctorum, um, Doctor Strange window there, a fantastic car. Zabu from Cave Kazar and the Savage Land, old school Iron Man, but wearing purple Hulk pants. I mean, in the Black Queen outfit, this is too much. I love Impossible Man. I love his design. Um, oddly enough, I feel like I've never read it within the context of which he was probably introduced by like Kirby and Lee. So I think I definitely would appreciate those issues. Um, but I think I digressed a little bit and oh, that's cool. That's like the Art Adams, like, oh my God, like it's so much fun from X-Men Annual 10 perhaps where they have those like different costumes designed by Art Adams and like, it's kind of like a fun, like almost space ghost kind of, um, uh, I don't know, a Buzz Lightyear kind of look for Warlock and uh, Doug Locke, rather, like the hybrid Doug Ramsey Warlock kind of character. But, you know, like, I think that was one of, always one of Alan Davis's strengths was being able to draw, like, alternative, like, realities and fun stuff, like the cross-time comedy caper or whatever, and Excalibur, where he's constantly coming up with, like, different looks and versions of the characters. I want to see if these are the Art Adams design ones for that X-Men annual. Maybe the same year this came out. I don't know, but those were always fun costumes. I mean, of course, you know, the New Mutants uh, are always going to be known for their black and yellow, like, uh, Xavier Institute uniforms, but I, that's why it always made it fun to see them in different versions, like the Brett Bovins ones or the... the hell, who knows? They all might have been Art, Art Adams annual versions in some way or another, but <laughs> I always love this too. It's so over the top and um, campy, we'll say campy. How about that? I just remember, and I don't know, this always takes me back to summer because I feel like these annuals always came out in the summer and it was just always the best time for comics and just to be able to get like six or eight new comics a week and just have a whole new pile to read was always so much fun. And just to have like little moments like this, like, uh, you know, uh, Alan Davis's version of Spider-Woman. How cool is that? Mr. T, Rambo, Rocky. Uh, that's what you get with the impossible man. The sky is the limit. Anything is possible with Mr. Impossible or the impossible man, Mr. Impossible. Imagine that. I mean, we're getting an Alan Davis Spider-Man. Like, that was always, like, a little thrill for me, like, right there. Like, whenever John Byrne would work in a cameo of a character that he didn't normally draw, like, it's just fun to see your favorite artist draw, like, their version. I mean, come on, Captain Marvel, how cool is that? I love that. That is the beauty of a character like Warlock. That's a great imaginative use, up until and including... Galactus versus the Watcher. Oh, and Princess Diana and Prince Charles. How crazy. And I love it because, uh, you know, Alan Davis is British, so. And Godzilla. Oh my gosh. It's so funny because, like, this is, like, um, so great to see that, but I want that as a splash page. That would be amazing. I don't know. They had stories to tell. And then, like, a freaking Shogun Warrior. And this is the gift that keeps on giving. I love this issue so much. So much fun. Such a great time for annuals back in the day. 1987, New Mutants, annual number three. 
written by Chris Claremont, illustrated by the ever amazing Ellen Davis. So much fun. Check it out, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more later. Bye.